that. Okay, the more the merrier. So hi everyone, welcome to today's live chat. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Shola and this is Discovery Natural page on Amazon and other platforms such as Facebook, such as YouTube and um, Instagram everywhere. That's where you can find me a big hi to you all. And um, today when I'm talking, I'm going to be a little bit slower when I talk because it's a little bit hard for me to breathe. <laughs> so um, my breathing system has been compromised by what I went through. So I was under the weather from Thursday. I was like, I couldn't even, by Saturday evening, I couldn't breathe. I just felt as if something was on my chest. I just felt really bad. Yes, I did go and take the test. We all know what that test is. I took the test and it came out negative. But the way I feel, I still feel as if there's something going on. <laughs> but I'm so grateful. I'm alive. I'm here. Uh, we're here. And today I'm going to be talking about the best gels that you can use for your hair. Also, I'll be answering any questions that you have. If you're watching this on the replay, know that you can always ask me questions later on. Uh, you can post your questions. And if you want to, you can also go to my Facebook group, Discovery Natural Group, and um, post your question there. So with that being said, let's say a big hello. Okay, if you want shout out, let's say a big shout out to you all. So drop your name, drop where you're from and you get a big shout out. Hi, Ivado. Ivado all the way from, says good evening, all the way from Sweden. And also I see Justina. Yeah, Ivado says, hey, we thank God you're doing well. I am so grateful. I was just like, am I going to be alive tomorrow? <laughs> like I'll go to sleep. And before I'm getting ready to sleep, I'll be so scared to sleep because I, the way I was breathing, I was like, what if I don't wake up? <laughs> but um, yeah. Hi, Annie. Annie from South Africa. Levon. Levon, hi. Blessing. Cherry just went straight to the question. Cherry just went, I have low prostate hair. Which gel is best? Hello, Cherry <laughs> or Sherry. Hello. I'm going to answer questions. Michelle, thank you so much. She says, hope, and you says, hope you're doing well. Thank you. Ebony from California. Shirley from the Netherlands. Ah, yeah. Levon is from Georgia. I actually have a friend, Levon, who actually is from Georgia, too. So uh, Tamika from Pennsylvania. And we have Laquita. Thank you so much. Uh, Ivado says, I hope it's not your iron deficiency messing you up. No, it's not it. It was something going on in here. My repository, repository, my repository organs were not working and my heart was, I have a heart issue also. So my heart was, they were compromised. They were fighting. <laughs> I don't know. The scientific name is long. They were fighting. Hi, Simone from the UK and Sylvia from Kansas. Okay, we're going to get started now. And the question for today that um, we are today was talking about your hair in terms of gel. Now, a couple of you might not know, and some of you might know, I do have an Amazon page. And my Amazon page looks something like this to you guys right over there. Okay, so it looks something like this. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. And I always do this because I always get questions from people asking me, where can I get this? What product is working? What product is this? So on the Amazon page, I always have pictures of different things. Um, sometimes it has to do with hair. Sometimes it doesn't have to do with hair. Uh, I also have videos that I put out. Sometimes it has to do with hair and sometimes it doesn't have to do with hair like this. Totally doesn't have to do with hair. And then, of course, if you're into braiding your hair, different braids, I've, I've created this new section idea list showing you different um, products you can use when braiding your hair and so many other things else for your hair and household and hair gel, all this stuff 
that you can use. So if you want to see all the live streams where I'm talking normally and not talking as if I just ran the marathon, you can click on that and it will show you other live streams. I think I have about a thousand six right now that you can go and you can watch. So with that, let us get started. If you're watching on the Amazon carousel, you'll be able to click the follow button right over there and also see the products that I'm selecting that I'm showcasing to you showing up on the carousel right over there or on the side, whichever way. So let's get started. Okay. Hi, Linda. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Joy. Joy says, yes, thank you. I know. I'm like hoping my breathing comes back soon too. Okay. So let's start off the first when you're doing your hair in terms of protective styles, in terms of gels for protective styles, um, I always go to the first one, the Shine and Jam. Okay. So I always go to this Shine and Jam. And if you see, you can tell that we use this so much. This is the second, third. <laughs> we use this so much. I use this for people that come to me that want to get their hair braided. I use it for my children's hair. One thing I like about this is that um, when you use it, it helps to tame the frizz, especially when you are adding hair extension together. So when you are adding the hair extensions to each, to the hair, the Shine and Jam gel works really well. Now they're different kind of Shine and Jam gel. So I want you to be, um, knowledgeable about that so they're not all created equally so if you when you want to buy your shine and jam gel you'll see a labeling right over here this is the most important thing that you want to look at you want to look at the strength and then you want to look at the key ingredient now in this one the key ingredient is honey whereas in other ones the key ingredients are like protein um, so many other ingredients. So I'm going to go through and I see your question, Ebony. And don't worry, I'm already with um, the person, um, Sherry, with the low porosity. I see your question. I'm going to answer that. Now, if you're a low porosity person, you want to move away from gels that have protein in it. So let's go on Amazon and I'll show you what you can find in terms of this is the key one. This works for a lot of people and it's very, very moisturizing when it comes to using it for braiding hair. You can use it to twist your hair, but I find that when I use it to twist hair without extension, the hair appears more stringy. Also, it depends on the texture of the hair. So if the texture of your hair is light, fine. This will make your hair very stringy. But if your texture of your hair is much more on a fuller texture, coarse texture, you might not get that stringy look. It does let the frizz stay longer. So be mindful of that. Thank you so much, Miss K. Hi, Mercy. So that is one thing you have to be mindful of. Now, I'm going to take you over on Amazon. So let's go over on Amazon. You all know whenever I am um, on here, I'm also teaching, so I'm not only showing you products and stuff, I'm also teaching. So we're gonna go, and if you search for Shine and Jam on Amazon, you get different kinds. Of course, you get the most popular one, which is the yellow one and stuff. You can also find the next one that I'm highlighting on the carousel, the Shine and Jam for braider. This is also one that just recently came out in the market, maybe less than a year ago or so. And this one is one that a lot of braiders are also gravitating to a lot of people that do hair. This is also good for natural hair. This is an olive oil based jam um, gel. Uh, so it doesn't, one thing that I was talking to a stylist about this particular Another styles about this particular jam, um, style and jam gel. And they said that you have to be very careful using it with other products too much. So if you use this, the way that I would suggest that you use this kind of gel, 
yeah, my finger go, okay. This kind of Jerry Alexandra. So the way that I suggest, and I see Anna, I see you so much. Okay, so the way that I suggest that you use this kind of gel is after the hair has been washed, find a way to dry the hair. You can dry it using a blow dryer, not too much heat. I usually, if I did this for my kids or people are coming to me, I'll say, wash your hair the day before and then come the next day. And the next day your hair is already moisturized and I don't have to add too much products. I find that with this, when you add products like leave-in, especially creamy leave-in conditioner, you can get some cakiness in there. So be very, very careful about doing it that way. Um, now, Ebony did have a question. Ebony was asking that, do I have a video on how to make flaxseed gel? I always have trouble when I make it and the straining process. Yes, Ebony, I do have a video. And you know what? I actually moved away from using um, the flaxseed seed sometimes and um, I use the powder. I find the powder is so much more convenient. Now, if you are low porosity, flaxseed gels are a great thing to go with if you are very, very scared about other um, conventional gel. Now, if you're wondering what kind of flaxseed gel and stuff, I'm gonna show you the flaxseed gel that I use versus, I mean, the flaxseed uh, powder that I use versus the seed. So let's go back on the Amazon page. I'm gonna share that page with y'all. So going back on the Amazon page, uh, if we go to, I believe that was food and supplements. Always, that one is the one that always kind of, yeah, food and supplements. Mm. Okay, so in the food and supplements side, we have flaxseed. So you do have flaxseed powder and this grain powder. I put it in my smoothies. I put it in my oatmeal and stuff. But you can also put it in your, um, boil it up and use it to create gel. Let me see if I have a video that I can show you how to use that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to see if I have a video showing how to use that. But the other one that you can also use the seed uh, the flax seed, uh, where is the ground? This is another one. Yeah, this one is also a good one. So you can eat it, but you can also use it to create gels in your hair. Okay, this is the um, video. So I'm going to play the video and I'm going to show you just how to create the gel. So right now you can see the way that you create the gel, you just take water and you boil your water. And after boiling the water, thank you so much, Charlie. And hi, Arlene and Lisa, how are you doing? So all I'm doing is just taking the water and pouring a quarter cup of flaxseed powder. And you just wanna whisk it really, really well. And when you whisk it really well, I mean, I tell you, this is so much more convenient than using flax seeds itself to create your gels. So when you whisk it, you wanna wait for it to bubble. Now, the thing you're looking for is the mucinage. Mucinage, yeah. So the mucus um, thin substance is what you're looking for. So as you are whipping it, you wanna test to see the consistency. If the consistency is very, kind of falls off very easily, is not so sticky, then you wanna wait and make sure it cooks some more. Now, the more you wait, the thicker it will get. The less water you use, the thicker it will get. Once that is done, you let it wait and you let it just settle. Once it has cooled down and settled, then it is so easy to strain off. So you can use a cheesecloth. I get this. Whenever I get some products, some products always come in this kind of bag material. And all you just do is just pour it in there. So it almost looks like, I don't know what to describe. It's very mucinage and stuff. So you wanna pour it in there and then you, you're you gonna squeeze it. Now, just know that whatever you use the bag, make sure it's a fine bag so that the um, powder substance doesn't get into, you know, in there. Now you can see that the color is like this brownish mucusy color. I absolutely, absolutely love the way this gel is. This gel, flaxseed powder, 
If you've never ever used flaxseed powder when doing your hair, give it a try. It's so cheap, so affordable, and it works really well for all hair types. All hair types, and you can find it on my Amazon page. So as you can see, it's like a really nice consistency. It doesn't mess up your hair. You can use it for so many, so many styles. So what I do is I normally just take this um, flaxseed powder. I get my funnel, my smart funnel. This smart funnel, I've been using it for years and years. And I just put it in there. And then I'm able to use it. So as you can see, using it with a, uh, a what they call this nozzle, you can see that it gives a gel consistency. This is all natural. Store it in the fridge for two weeks. And you want to add preservatives in there. So that was what I used to get. Okay, this is somebody else's video. But anyway, that was what I used to get that, um, that look, you know, the curly look. It's just, it's a, such a good, good gel. Now, they do sell flaxseed gel. So if you're someone that you're like, oh, I don't have time to be making all these gels and stuff, then you can just go ahead and you can, um, just buy your flaxseed gel. So if you guys want, um, you can check out my uh, Amazon page. I'm going to put the link over here. So I'm dropping the link for you guys. Amazon.com. It's on the screen, but you can also find it displayed in the comment area. Okay. Hi, Miss Harris. Miss Harris says, hi, my daughter is eight years old. And I have so many hair moisturizers to help keep moisture, moisture in her hair. Can you help me with any advice on how to help her with this? I know when it comes to younger children's hair, we have to be careful what we use. So um, she has tried. So Miss Harris is having problems with moisture. Now, since we're talking about gel, I'm going to incorporate how to use gel to give you lasting moisture. You see what I'm doing right there? So what you want to do is that number one, if you've tried a lot of moisturizers, you want to go back to the basics. Number one, wash the hair really well. If you're someone that you are co-washing, co-washing all the time, try and use shampoo. Cleanse the hair. Detox. Sometimes when we detox the hair, it gives the hair a starting base. It removes, helps with moisture retention. So detox the hair. When you wash the hair, after shampooing the hair, always use a deep conditioner. Some people don't like using deep conditioners. I find with my hair, with my kids' hair, when we skip deep conditioner, which is almost never, our hair doesn't stay moisturized as long. So look for uh, moisturizing deep conditioners, not so much protein, protein, protein. Now, the products that you use, some of the products could be products that are filled with protein. So learn to read product ingredients. If your daughter's hair doesn't retain moisture a lot, it's also important for you to know their hair porosity. So hair porosity is the way hair absorbs product. If they if your daughter's hair, when you put product in it and the product goes out easily, then it is possible that she's not retaining the moisture because her hair is high porosity. So you want to put in the moisture, find something like a sealant, like a hair border and lock in that moisture. For some people, depending on the atmosphere they're in, it could be that their hair gets dry over time because of the atmosphere. Some product ingredients that can dry your hair if you live in a drier climate are like glycerin. So if you have glycerin in your hair product, please check it, please try and eliminate it. See if you can eliminate it. See if you can eliminate it because that can be something that is causing the hair to be dry. I've also noticed that for some people, aloe vera dries out their hair. So you have to know that. Now, after you deep condition, try using a leave-in conditioner. A leave-in conditioner can be quite helpful when it comes to retaining the moisture in your hair. And then check the hair daily and see what needs to be used. Now, where does gel come in? After you style the hair, using gels for some, some people, some gels can help lock in that moisture. So when it comes to gels, you don't want to use um drying 
ingrid um, gels, gels that contains um, alcohol in it. So you don't want to use that. So I hope that helps you out. If you want more help, more one one on one help, please please join our Facebook group, Discovery Natural Group, because that is where we help you. You can show the products you're using. You can show the hairstyle and stuff. So hi, blessing. So, and I hope that helps you. So if you have any more questions, just put it in there. So we're going to move on to the next kind of gels that people use. So gels are different from edge tamer. I know. Sorry, Stephanie. Yeah, mornings are not working well. If you go watch my um, YouTube channel, <laughs> my my family channel dm vlogs live you can tell them mornings i can't even go lives in the mornings anymore because i'm dealing with school runs dealing with all that stuff so i do miss being on live in the morning but yeah you're welcome miss harris you're welcome so yeah okay um bunny is watching me all the way from south africa yay oh beautiful country beautiful country Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one. So gels are different from edge tamers. So a lot of people, um, edge tamers usually come. Let me see if I can show you what the edge tamer that I'm talking about right now. Okay. Okay, so the edge tamer that, let me get out of this. <clears throat> so the edge tamer, one of the popular edge tamers are like this one right here. This is the Cantu Extra Hold Hedge Stay Gel. Now, these are usually for the edges, for slicking down the edges. Now, these are perfect for like ponytails. If you want that slick ponytails, using this kind of hedge gel is good. Hedge gels are more tacky in consistency. They are they are ones that you sometimes you have to warm it up in your fingers before you can use it. So this is the Cantu Extra Hold Edge Stay. It conditions, it smoothens, freeze, and flyaways for shiny, slick styles that last. Um, this is said to made of pure shea butter to condition and shine the hair, make it um, sleek and smooth and all that. Now, one thing about gels, about edge tamer you should know is try using a little bit at a time. Now, when you use them, unlike gels, gels, you could just take gels and just take globs of gels and just use it to smooth your hair or use it to style your hair or use it for something of that sort. Edge tamers on the other side, you want to take a little bit of it. Now, if you're going to use it, if you're like, oh, I can never, um, edge tamers, they don't hold my hair. My hair doesn't stay good. My hair just laughs at edge tamer. I put in my hair. They say it's supposed to last 24 hours. No, it doesn't last 24 hours. They lied. Try this trick. Take a mist bottle, spray your hair with water. After you've moisturized your hair, spray your hair with water. Take a little bit of the edge tamer and apply it to the hair and take a hair brush or an edge brush and brush it in so that it coats it. Walk it through your edges and then walk it again. Walk another layer again, another small layer again. Then tie down your hair or you can wrap your hair with a wrap and wait at least 30, at least 10 minutes. Or you can just take a blow dryer after your hair has been wrapped and blow it and it will stay. Okay? It will stay. So Grace says, hello, my daughter has thick hair and I recently noticed it lacks shine. What can I do to make her hair shiny? If the hair used to have shine and it lacks shine, it is time to detox. So I'll suggest you detox her hair. Um, you could use a shampoo or you could, I don't know what you're using to wash your daughter's hair. Or you could just use uh, um, clay, like betonite clay. A razu clay. Some people use clays in the hair, but it's important when the hair is lacking shine. It is important for you to um, just find ways that okay. What have you been doing? The hair pro probably has product buildup. Hi, Elizoya, Judith. How are you doing? So nice to see you. So another edge tamer is Eden Body Works. Eden Body Works also are their own edge tamer. Now one of the most popular gels that a lot of people use is the aloe vera gel so 
Excuse me. So is the aloe vera gel. Now, aloe vera gel, you can buy the aloe vera plant and um, remove the green part out of it. And then the inner filling of the aloe vera um, gel, you could take it and make a gel with it. The gel consistency might not be as thick. It's more watery. Um, aloe vera gels, they're much more gentler. You could also buy commercial aloe vera gel okay so aloe vera gel there's one that i see on amazon i'm gonna bring it up for you all right now so there's one we're gonna move on from here and i'm gonna show you the aloe vera gel that um i see oh yeah by the way the person that was asking about flaxseed gel you could also buy this flaxseed gel so this is also a flaxseed gel commercial grade flaxseed gel but it's mixed with other things. So it is not pure, meaning that it has other ingredients in there, as you can see right over there. So that's a uh, flaxseed gel. Okay. Now, the aloe vera that I'm talking about, with the aloe vera, here we go. Um, this is the aloe vera gel. This is one of the best seller of aloe vera pre-made gel. It's from Seven Miracles. And this aloe vera gel right here, um, this is a pure, 100% pure aloe vera from freshly caught aloe vera plant. It contains no powder, no xanthan, so it absorbs readily with no residue. So the complaint that a lot of people have when they buy aloe vera gel is that usually to say 98% or something, but with this one, it doesn't have that problem. Okay, this is a 100% aloe vera gel that you can use. You can buy it in different sizes. This is travel size. And um, yeah, so other, the only things that it has, it, it contains preservatives and stuff and also um, potassium sorbate for preservation. And this last two years, I bet you within two years you would have finished using it. So that lasts two years. So that is aloe vera gel. Now, there are other gels that are out there that you see like a colored kind of gel. Hi, Judy. How are you doing? Now, Grace says, where can I get the, the clay? How do I detox here? The, I've never done it before. Please, how do I go about detoxing? So let's take a little break. Let's help Grace out because this is what we do. Thank you so much, Grace, for asking that question. And with that, that is why I dropped the link for the um, our Amazon page. Because on the page, whenever I show you product, if I have used the product before, um, when you get on the page, please, I would advise you. Uh, it's free to be on the Amazon page, as long as you have an Amazon account, I will please suggest, please click that follow button right over there. Because whenever I make new categories or introduce products or teach how to do this and that, I put it on my Amazon page. Now, when you go on the Amazon page, there's a section called hair clay. There are different kinds of hair clay. Now, if you want to buy one that is already pre-mixed, that they've already mixed the ingredients, my favorite is Kadima, this one, the Kadima Mud Detox Mask. This works really, really good. I had a client, and I believe I do have a video of my client. Do I have a video of my client? Okay, I didn't put a video of my client over here, but the way you use it, so this is how I detox my kids here, and I'm going to just play the video for you. So this is the Kadima one. So we're going to be... So I'm going to play the video. So this is how I use it. So this is the mud mask, and this is made from pink French, French um, mask or whatever, mud, yeah. So easily, and it works if you have dandruff and stuff. So this is my oldest daughter. So all I'm doing is just taking it when the hair is wet, and you just apply it to the hair and to the scalp. You're going to wait. So this cleanses and it moisturizes your hair at the same time, okay? So, um, and it removes dandruff. I had, I had a client that had like um, psoriasis on her scalp. And it is, since she has started using this, it has never added. It just really works really perfectly. 
So this is what our hair looks like after we've used it. It works so well. It's an amazing, amazing product. So if you want to, you can give it a try. Now, there are also other masks, if you don't want to buy that. There are other cheaper alternatives that you could use. Those ones call for being able to mix your stuff more, okay? Being able to know what and what to use when you mix it. So, Grace, um, I'll give you some suggestions here. Some clays um, we have for detoxing. Oh, also, this one is also a good one. Um, bentonite clay and razu clay are also two clays that people use when it comes to detoxing their hair. So I hope that has answered your question. And yeah. So uh, yeah. Okay. And then I, Judy, uh, Pamela says, I have lots of Echo Styler that I don't use. Can I use it as a dealer? Maybe add it to my spritz. One thing that you can do with the uh, Echo Styler gel, because I did this. So what you can do is you can take it and you can mix it with shea butter yeah so when you mix it with shea butter you can whip it put a couple of oils in there whip it and you make yourself a hair custard and it's so amazing and make sure the moisturizer you mix it with work well so what you're going to do is that you're going to take the um hair gel and just to tell you guys i'm just going to repeat myself the reason why i sound like this is because i've been sick for nearly a week and it affected my whole respiratory area, my throat and everything. So my speaking voice <laughs> is not, it's going to come back, but it's going to take some time and I'm on antibiotics and all that stuff. So how are you doing, Oluwa Fumilayo? How are you doing? So nice to see you. Good after, Good evening, Lonette. Uh, you, uh, oh, Yerusa, uh, how are you doing? And um, yeah. So Grace says, do I shampoo and deep condition after detoxing the hair? You don't need to shampoo, but I would suggest you deep condition. The detox works as a shampoo. Um, if you feel the need to shampoo, you can. Um, I don't usually shampoo after I use a detox max. I just go to my deep conditioner and my leave-in conditioner, my moisturizer, my oils and stuff and style the hair. Okay. So hope that helps you out. So let's move on to the next gel. So yeah, so I was talking about this gel and this is a, is a hair color, it's like a hair color wax. Now hair color wax also comes in gel form. So there are some hair color wax out there that you could also use like as if they are gels. So I'm gonna show you the one that I'm talking about right over over here let's go there let's go there <laughs> this is one of my daughter's favorite ones because you can get streaks of colors if you have little children this is one that i bought and i find that little children love it it's good for parties and stuff it's like a hair color but this one compared to other ones this one doesn't have the gel consistency in it but i just I just want to show this. It's like a little pencil strip thing. And my daughter, she absolutely loves it. Let me see if I, yeah. So this is my daughter. She absolutely loves it. And this is what it looks like. It's like a pencil. So if you have little kids out there and they want little streaks of color, it doesn't damage their hair. You can try that. I'm going to show you what it looks. So after I put in the hair, you can see the little streaks of color and you just walk it through the hair. So let me say, yeah, this one is my favorite. Now, when you use hair color like this, you can add your gels in there to lock it in. So that's another tip. Take your gel, add it in. It makes the color last longer. So this kind of streak, when you add your gel and then you put the color on top, it makes it more vibrant because with our hair, we have natural hair. Our hair is much darker and with darker hair, you find that with those kind of hair, the color kind of the darkness kind of hides the color. But this is this is so beautiful. Anyway, let's get back into gels. Yeah. 
So Levon says, do you have any recommendation for shea butter and how to mix in the gel? Now, it's really no um, rocket. It's not a rocket science thing. Um, you can go to the, so recommendations for, um, for shea butter. I'll show you my recommendation right here. So if you go to, um, where is that? Let me go back on the Amazon page. Okay, so if you go on the Amazon page, and I believe I have it in the moisturizer section. Yeah, so if you go to the moisturizer section, yeah. So I do have different gels, so you can pretty much use any of this. So there's so many different gels that you can use. So what I do is that I'll take maybe like uh, three tablespoons of shea butter, to like a teaspoon of gel and then mix it, mix it, mix it real good. Yeah. Hi, Ebere. How are you doing? Welcome. You're new here. Welcome. Welcome. So nice to see you. Please, if you can, go to the link, amazon.com slash shop slash discover natural. That's where you see recommendations for products and different hair stuff, related stuff. So other gels that are available on the market, um, uh, Alokin Natural also has a hair gel. You're welcome, Iberi. Alokin Natural also has a hair gel. And I've not used a hair gel before. Let me see if I can bring it up. I don't know if you guys have used it, but it's a nice, um, the way I've smelt it before, it smells delicious. <laughs> it smells really delicious. The one that the Luster S Curl, who remembers Luster S Curl? Oh my goodness, the Jerry Curl era, okay? The Jerry Curl era. So the Luster S Curl is the gel before Echo Styler, before all those other gels, there was Luster, <laughs> okay? So Luster S Curl is one that if you want to create that Jerry Curl look, you can get it now. They've modified it. It's not like the, your grandmother's own. It's not like your mama's escrow or your mama's luster. It's been modified. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you the new upgraded version. It's actually non-new. It's like two years upgrade, I believe. Yeah, two years upgrade. So this is what the luster escrow looks like. Yeah, so it's like a curl and a wave activator. So if you're someone that you wash your hair, after shampooing your hair, rinsing your hair, deep conditioning your hair, you have curls, you see curls. You can take this to activate it. Now, gels do not create curls. Okay, I'm going to repeat myself. Gels do not create curls. Gels enhance the curls that you already have. It activates the curls you already have. So yeah, so this is the Luster S Curl that you can try and you can use. Um, okay, so uh, I'm gonna answer Grace's question. Grace has a question and Grace says, please do I need to do a uh, protein treatment after detoxing? How often do I detox my daughter's hair and my hair? Now, if you are detoxing, I will say once a month is good enough. If you don't have a lot of problem, you can skip it. Do you use protein treatment? No, please don't use a protein treatment after detoxing because some um, detox clays have strengthening powers in them. So don't do a protein treatment, okay? Okay, so Echo Styler Gel. I don't have to show you what it looks like. Everybody everywhere knows what Echo Styler Gel looks like, right? Yeah, Echo Styler Gel. Ooh, I'm showing bra. <laughs> I couldn't find my strapless bra. <laughs> Anyway, um, Echo Stella Gel is one of those gels that are popular. You, they come, they're like candy. They're like lollipop candy. They come in different flavors. You have the olive, you have the argan, you have the black casserole, you have the protein, you have the this, you have the that. Um, so with Echo Stella Gel, the key thing about it is that make sure you test your gel with your leave-in or with your moisturizer or whichever product you're gonna use. Now, there's also the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. Now, the Locking Gel, I'll bring it up for you guys. 
um it works well like if people if you're someone that you lock your hair some people like it some don't now the locking gel it's a lighter kind of gel okay it's not a thick gel um it's a lighter kind of gel i've used it on my daughter's hair it's a gel that i can use to twist hair and the hair doesn't give that stringy feeling if you have locks this is also one that you can use to maintain your lock you can also use it to start your lock. So um, I don't, yeah, I was wondering maybe there was a video showing. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a video out there just showing how to use it. I like using it when I do like finger coils, but the problem with finger coils with me doing finger coils on my own hair is my hair starts to lock within a week. <laughs> it locks so quickly whenever I use this. But if you're someone that you want to start starter locks, you can try using this, okay? Uh, other gels that are out there, then one that I like, I especially love this gel, is my Super Wet. This is the Super Wet gel. Um, this gel, it's huge. <laughs> the bottle is huge. I love the smell. It has a very nice, you know that kind of smell like your rich auntie just came to visit you and she decided to bless you. <laughs> yeah, that's what this smells like. This is what it looks like. The consistency is like this. Now, what I'm going to do is that I find that this kind of gel really mixes well with a lot of products. So in the past, there's also Wet Line Extreme Gel. That is also a very popular gel. Now, in the past, I have used this. I've used other gels, and I found that a lot of gels, I have to take the gel and I have to test it with other gels, other hair products. Now, um, yeah, I was saying that something else. Now, I'm going to show you a consistency between this and this. This, you could also use it when you are braiding your hair, but the consistency really matters. When you are braiding your hair, uh, I'm going to answer, before I do that, let me answer Miss Reese. Hi. Thank you. So Ms. Rizzi says, I have soft curly hair, almost wavy, but it breaks very easily. I don't know what kind of product I can use for my hair type. Now, if your hair breaks very easily, there are two key reasons and then one third little minor reason. One reason why your hair could break easily could be lack of moisture, not using enough moisturizing product. Another reason can be because you use you're not using products that contains protein that strengthen your hair. You're not doing protein treatment to help strengthen your hair from inside out. Um, if you're someone that use brushes and you're brushing your hair and you're doing it while your hair is dry, try to get a mist bottle and at least put some water before you brush your hair or better still use your fingers to finger detangle your hair. Tight styles can also break your hair. Number main, main thing, your diet. If your hair breaks and you're shedding so easily, check your iron level. Check to see if something is going on internally. Because sometimes when things are happening internally in our health, then our hair gets the butt of it. Okay, our hair starts showing. <laughs> it's sort of like, okay, I'm not feeling fine. For example, I've been sick. So when I've been sick like this, I didn't wash my hair this past weekend. Um, so I'm going to wash my hair this coming weekend <laughs> or this week. I don't know, maybe by Friday. But you do want to baby your hair. If your hair is breaking and coming out a lot, please, please make sure you are not deficient in any nutrients. I would suggest um, getting your iron levels checked um making sure you're just eating the right things okay i think i'm getting to the end of my voice <laughs> as you can see my voice is getting lower and lower sorry turn on your volume <laughs> mm. okay so i was gonna do an experiment and just show you and so this is the gel for braiding gel Now, this is a tacky gel. This is not coming out. See that? This is a braid gel. It's a tacky kind of gel. However, this gel 
is not as tacky as edge gel. Now this can also serve as your edge gel. So you see how tacky it is. Now I'm going to show you with my mannequin. I'm going to bring out my mannequin and I'm going to show you with my mannequin two things that you will notice about the gel. Okay. So this is my mannequin. I'm going to move so that you guys will be able to see much better. Give me a second right here. Okay. My towel. And I'm going to show you something. So bear with me one second here. Okay. So this is my mannequin. And this is still the hair that we did way back then. If you guys were in for the class, you're welcome, Ms. Risen. So, what I'm, oh, I just dropped, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just dropped the hair tie <laughs> in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hair. So, you'll be able to see the look of the hair so let's zoom it so that you can see i'm going to move this chair so that you can see much better and you see the different consistency when it comes to gels so this hair is more like miss reese's reese's hair which is more wavy and curly but let's just imagine that this is your hair now with the Shine and Jam, which has a more tacky, thicker gel. If you take that, I'm just going to diminish that, and you put it to the hair. So I'm going to get some water. Just I'm not going to drink my water anymore. So I just dip my hand into my drinking water just to wet it. Okay. So we're just wetting the hair. And by wetting the hair, I'm showing that before you use gel, always put some form of um, moisture to the hair, okay? Always put some form of moisture to the hair. So the hair now is moisturized. When I put this, I'm gonna take the gel and I'm gonna put the gel on there. Okay. So as you can see, with Shine and Jam gel, it gives that non freezy look like that. It's going to be hard. Once it has dried, this is gonna be hard. So if you use this kind of gel to braid your own hair, not with extension, so if you use it, I use it to twist or use it to braid, what happens is that it gives that stringy look. It doesn't give that plum look. You know, sometimes you want that plum look. It gives you that stringy look, you see? And it's a stiff kind of look. So the difference between, and you can almost see, <laughs> let me put it this way, see? It gives that stringy, stringy look. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between using that and using a hair gel. Even though this also, it's a mass mom old gel, there's a huge difference. So we're going to take the hair. We're going to do exactly the same thing. You see this? You see that? Okay. We're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to add the water. Okay. So just put some water on the hair. Okay. Add water. Add more water. Just to wet it. Now I'm going to get the gel. Now the consistency of this gel, I'll show you the more, the consistency. You can tell this gel, even though, if I keep on doing it, it's gonna drop. You see the consistency is more on a liquidy consistency, more liquidy. Okay, so if I take this gel and I put it on the wet hair, like that, the same way, and I put it and you twist the hair. The same thing you're doing, the same thing I was doing. 
Now, look at this one. You see how it's more, it's, it's much more, it has more give. You see, even the gel with the hair is almost as if it's separated. It has more give. It has more flexibility. Okay? So it won't give that stiff look compared to this. So see that? You see how this kind of gives that nice curvature? It's a thick consistency. This one is much more relaxed. You see how it just crumbles. Now, you have to know that um, should, uh, okay, so Sean says, should use a natural hair mannequin or use it on your own hair? Yeah, you can use a natural hair mannequin. This is just demonstration purpose. I can do it on my own hair. And um, I can show you on my own hair, okay? So, but this is just a demonstration of the thickness. Now, Lashawn, uh, it is possible, it's the same thing. I've been doing this for years and years. It's the same thing I use it on my own hair or natural hair, whatever, yeah. Okay, so just to tell you that different gels produce different things. So the key reason for this experiment that I'm doing, that I'm showing you all, let me put my cameras back, okay? So the key reason for this experiment that I'm telling you is to demonstrate that when you purchase, uh, yeah, I think we put it too much, yeah, okay. So when you purchase your gel, okay, it is important for you to know that the gel consistency really matters. If you buy a gel that is thicker, if you use it throughout the length of your hair, it could give your hair that illusion of it being more stringy. Now, um, LaShawn says she, I should use it on my own hair. So what I did is that this is a full lock. My hair is twisted underneath there. So for you, LaShawn, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take, are you guys? You'll never know the way I style my hair. This is a full puff. I absolutely love this puff. This is my newest puff. So I'm just gonna take a twist of my own hair. And let me get a spray bottle. I'm gonna get a spray bottle because so that I can spray my hair and wet it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. So I wasn't planning to do this. <laughs> Because I'm not feeling too good. <laughs> uh, hi, Jennifer. So let me see if I can grab one of my own hair. Thank you. Yeah. Amazon customer, thank you so much for following. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So I'm going to grab one of my hair without messing up my hair. Okay. Hello, Sean. I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, you make me jump through hoops, Facebook people. <laughs> okay, so this is my hair, yeah? So we're gonna test it with this too, okay? So now, oh, I wasn't planning to do this because now I'm gonna have so much product build up in my hair, the things you do. So now I'm gonna just walk with this, I'm gonna move this section back. I'm not happy. <laughs> okay. So this is my hair, part of my hair. It has already split into half. If I take this, let's experiment. If I take this and I'm just going to test it on this half because I don't want to, I don't want to deal with product buildup. So we're going to test it with this half of the hair. So if I take the hair and I'm going to spray it with water. So we just did one full squat. Make sure my hair is wet. I'm gonna zoom it closer so that you can see. So this is my hair right there, okay? Now I'm gonna take the shine and jam. I never ever use shine and jam on the full length of my hair. Take, a, take the same amount of shine and jam. This is the shine and jam. The half place where I sprayed it, if you take it, you can already see, I'm gonna take motion and jam. You can already see 
This is how much more I took. Remember, I was telling you about it being stringy. See what's happening. This is why you don't use shine and jam throughout the length of your hair. Just use it at the base. See what it does to my hair. See that? See that? Okay. The same thing it did to the mannequin so that you guys can know that using the mannequin <laughs> saves me headache. You can notice it's not curling my hair. So if you're looking to, oh, I want to get curly hair and stuff. This is what the shine and jam does to your hair. So that's why shine and jam is not the best thing to use when you want to get curls or do wash and go and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go. Now I look weird. So the next one that I'm going to be spraying, I'm going to do this this section. We're doing the same length. I'm spraying it with, with water. Okay, so spray. Wetting the hair. Okay, I'm going to grab. I don't want to mess up shine and jam and the gel. So I'm making sure I'm wiping off my hand. My hand doesn't have any gels whatsoever. And I'm gonna take this um, super wet gel. This is the gel that you use, taking the amount, right? And I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna apply it to my hair and watch what happens. I'm applying it the same way that I apply the shine and jam. Okay. So there is a huge difference, a huge difference. I wish I wore a black shirt. I really wish I wore a black shirt, but you can see or a white shirt. You can see, oh gosh, how can I do this? Let me get a piece of paper, yeah. So you can see the difference. The difference is clear. So you can see this is what happens when you use shine and jam. Do not use, stop using shine and jam to try and create curls. Instead, use gels, hair gels that um, are not that tacky consistency. So I'm doing a close up. So if you want curls in your hair and your hair naturally has curls, this is what will happen. Now this hair is going to, if I don't wash it off, it's going to stay like this hard. To me, this looks like a, doesn't this remind you of a um, roll-up? Like those, you know, foot, foot roll-ups, those candies that kids lick. <laughs> Whereas this one is curly. I can, I get my curls and this is my hair without curls. Yeah. So I hope this has helped you see the right gel to use for your hair. And um, yeah, I have so much shine here because it's shine and jam that does give me the shine. And it did jam up my hair. <laughs> so thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope my little demonstration helped you out. So what I'm going to do now, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably have to wash. I'm going to try and see if I can remove as much, even when I try and remove it, see what happens. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to let it be. Yeah. It's as if I relax my hair. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, with that being said, I am going to call it a night, a good evening, <laughs> good afternoon. I hope you guys enjoyed this live chat. Thank you so much for coming on today. Uh, I love you guys. If I didn't love you, I wouldn't have done this, but I love you guys. And where is the person that asked this? LaShawn, where are you? Where are you? Are you there? Okay, thanks. Cheryl says, so what's the best gel to use when adding braids to your hair? Use this when adding braids to your hair. Okay, shine and jam. When you want to add braids to your hair, use this. Okay, when you want to twist up your hair, 
get curly hair and stuff, use stuff like this. Super gel, super wet. Oh, Alua Fumilayo, I love you too. Okay, sure. Heidi is laughing here. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're welcome, Heidi. Thank you. Lynn, Lynn Peters, hello. Welcome. Feel free to watch the replay. I am ending this right now. Thank you, everyone. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you guys in the next live chat. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you, M. Raisin. Could you show the shine and the wet wet gel again? Yes, I'm actually going to highlight it on the carousel. Um, but this is what it looks like. You can find it on my Amazon shop. Also, amazon.com slash shop slash discovery natural. All the products that I showcase are always on my Amazon shop. This is what it's called. This is my favorite gel. It gives me the curly hair look I want and everything. So that is it. For braids hair, if you didn't get a good picture of that, that's what this looks like. Okay. So with that being said, um, thank you so much for watching. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, as I always say, if you're watching me on Facebook, on Amazon, I really, really love it for you guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist it up and then I'll wash my hair tonight. So tonight I'll be washing my hair and stuff. So I'm just, I, I've never mixed both gels together. So that I've never done. But look, see the stringy one and then see, you guys see the wet, the, the wet, that's why it's so, this gel is so cheap. I don't know why a lot of people don't talk about this gel, but look at how it made my hair so curly. It made my hair so curly, guys. So curly. I love the curls. Yeah, look at that. And it plays well with other products. My hair, I've not washed it in over nearly two weeks, so I have a ton of products on it. And you see no flaking. All you just see is just the curls and stuff. And this is my natural hair. I don't have chemicals in my hair, no texturizers whatsoever. So I'm just going to twist it up. Yep. My hair looks all shiny and elongated. So that's another thing if you want shine in your hair. For some people, using gels creates that shine appearance and stuff. So I'm just going to take my hair and just tuck it back into the puff. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I use the puff as a quick way to just, okay, I need to do my hair. I'm not feeling the best. Um, yeah, I know my puff doesn't look as glamorous as it usually does. But uh, yeah, so let me, I know I ended, I ended the stream for Amazon. That's why you usually see me say bye. But then I have to wait for it to get on Amazon. It takes like forever. So that's why you'll see me like jibby jabbering. And stuff. Thank you. Heidi says I have beautiful hair. Thank you. Um, while you're here, why don't we do something? Why don't I just to um I'm gonna just play some videos for you all um to see. So hope you have a wonderful day. We're gonna be doing that for the next like five minutes or so. If you feel like you need to go, you can go. Um, but I'm gonna just pick a couple of videos that I think will help you out. Um, some people add questions about some hair products and stuff. So here are some, uh, there's another gel that you could use. There's a gel called the Ambuno. Ambuno also has a hair gel. So let's play. I'm gonna show you how to use Ambuno leaves for hair growth. And Ambuno is actually an ancient herb from the country of Chad, Africa. You wanna start off by heating up water. I heated up an eight ounces of water which is like about a cup of water and i added one tablespoon to that hot cup of water now the amount that it came saying that you should add is actually one tablespoon to a liter of water but because that's the way that they did it in chad but i feel like you have to do the amount for your consistency to give you the right consistency now ambuno is naturally a slippery herb 
and also it can be used as a natural conditioner so when you touch it it feels quite slippery when i touched the consistency i found that it wasn't the slip that i needed for my daughter's hair so i added one more tablespoon and then i added yet another tablespoon and i found that with our measure of eight ounces to three tablespoon it worked well for our hair my daughter's hair needed this consistency so after 10 minutes of waiting you can wait 20 minutes to get it much more thicker i strained it i started off with a strainer so you can try a strainer but i feel like what worked best for me to strain this was actually using <laughs> this um my funnel my smart funnel and then i use the netting that came with the packaging for the product so you just strain the leaves out some people use it with the leaves still in there but they find it quite difficult to remove the leaves in but if you decide to use it with the leaves in there without straining just make sure you wash your hair and rinse your hair thoroughly as you can see the ambunu leaf made it very mucousy and that is where the slip is going to come from this is my daughter and her hair is very dry and it is time for us to detangle her hair she has been wearing her hair in this kind of wash and go style so i took the ambunu <laughs> i put it in that bottle and then i'm sectioning her hair into a small section so while i'm doing this let me just tell you a little bit more about ambunu so ambunu is very effective as an antioxidant it has anti-inflammatory and emollient properties so you can use it as a shampoo because it contains saponin which gives it the ability to cleanse the hair thoroughly and it also as a way of nourishing your hair and nourishing your scalp as you see it works as a great detangler because i'm using my detangling comb and i'm walking it through our hair and you can see the slip is amazing as you see the comb just glides through it and our curls are Pop in. So let's see what she thinks. It's so soft and wow. I know. You can see my curls popping. Yay. So this ambunu leaf, after we've put in our hair, I just twisted up our hair and I continue working it through the hair. Okay, so um I had a question coming while that was playing. Um that was from flora flora says which gel can i use to make my hair strong okay uh, i feel bad when i so let me show the question right here so flora says which gel can i use to make my hair strong i feel bad when comb when you comb it it comes out extra flora you don't use a gel if your if your hair is coming out it's not a gel that you should be using Okay, sweetie, it's not a gel that you should be using. What you should be using is number one. If your hair is coming out a lot when you're combing it, first of all, moisturize your hair before you comb it. Finger detangle your hair before you comb it. If you still find that your hair comes out more and more and more, I will suggest that you look at what you're eating, you look at your health, you do a blood test to just make sure you're, you're not deficient in anything. And um, also you can try doing a protein treatment to strengthen your hair. Gels, are, although gels make your hair hard, uh, if depending on what the purpose that you're using it for, you just have to make sure that um, you are more knowledgeable about your health and stuff. So uh, Sandra's asked, uh, are there, I can't say that word because my channel is going to get dropped, agents in Shine and Jam, not that I know of. I don't know. Not that I know of. So the things in Shine and Jam, I'll tell you what is in here. Water, Cetera, um, Glycerin, um, Hydrogenic uh, Lanolin, Mineral Oil, um, DMDM. So fragrance, honey, you can always do your research. Always, always do your research. If you feel that something is going to cause a health issue, do your research because we're, our chemistry, our DNA, the way that we are, are different. Everybody is created differently. So do your research if you feel that you are not comfortable using this. I've also shown you how to use homemade flaxseed. You can use flaxseed to create your gels. You can use ambuno leaves 
to create your gels. You can use aloe vera to create your gels. You can use chai seed to create your gel. You can use okra, okra, yes. You guys want to see? <laughs> you can use okra to create your gels. So don't feel that, oh, you have to just use a commercial product. No, you don't. You can use okra to create your gels and so much more. So with that being said, let me see if I have a video because um, I know a lot of you are asking, can you show me this video to do this? Let me see if I have a video on okra. How to use okra for your hair. Okay. Um, I think that video is already, I already uploaded it somewhere else. No, I already uploaded it because my computer gets so bombarded <laughs> with so many things. So I've already uploaded it with something else. Um, yeah. So I was going to show you something going on with gel. Uh, wait a, yeah. So someone was asking earlier on how to use bentonite clay in their hair to wash their hair. So I'm going to show that video right now. So today we'll be making the bentonite clay mask and the ingredients that I'm going to be using is the uh, Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay and this is the bentonite clay. I'll also be using apple cider vinegar and I'll be using extra virgin olive oil and uh, um, aloe vera juice and some essential oils and the essential oils I'm using are rosemary okay and peppermint lavender so those are the three oils I'll be using so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a quarter cup of the Bentonite clay. I'm just going to take a quarter cup, okay, of that clay. And bentonite clay is very good for clarifying your hair. It's also very good for detangling your hair. It makes detangling easy. And people say that it also as loose helps in loosening your curl texture. So the next thing that we do is we take. A quarter cup of the apple cider vinegar and I'm just gonna open that right up and whenever you mix this product you always want to use a plastic spoon plastic utensil whisk or whatever and you also want to you know slowly mix it in got it into a thick paste and this is the consistency that I want see how thick that is yeah that is how I like it <laughs> the next thing that you want to do is you want to get your aloe vera juice so I'm going to get just a almost like a quarter cup of aloe vera juice so okay and I'm just gonna mix a little bit of this in just a little bit and the aloe vera juice gives it the moisturizing property okay it gives you your moisture for your hair so being very careful it's kind of it's a little bit messy <laughs> but we'll clean it right up after so I'm just gonna put a little bit more Okay, so once I've mixed this, okay, try and mix it carefully because it can be a little bit messy. So, so next, you see it's a little bit lumpy, but don't worry, we're gonna get it real good after we mix in the other stuff. So next, I'm going to get three tablespoons of my extra virgin olive oil 
one, two, three, three tablespoons of that, and then just a couple of drops. Okay, so I'm going to come back on. If you want to watch the rest of this video, you can always find it on my YouTube channel. Just search YouTube for Discovery Natural um, Bentonite. I just want to show you that that is available. I had one more question from Jennifer. Jennifer was saying, what is the best gel to use to slick hair? It depends on your hair texture. Um, I've used okra before, <laughs> okra gel before, but you have to just play with the gels and stuff. You can always go on YouTube and search for Discovery Natural slick or gel and you'll see different options so thank you so much everyone for watching thank you so much for joining my life i didn't want this life to be super super long and i hope to see you guys hopefully on friday yay so i'll see you guys take care bye take care guys bye